This is a Govee leak detector. It has one purpose. To detect a leak. Each water detector has two sets of sensor nodes on the bottom and one right on the front. Today, we are going to find out how indestructible these are. One of the things that I'm concerned about, you can see right here, the angle, is that the drip sensor on top looks like it's higher than any other point. And right here, this is the sensor where you, once the alarm is going off, you can press this button and it mutes the alarm. But that's pretty low down and that's where water could enter the system. Similarly, this is where the speaker is. And so is there some kind of opening there where the electronics, we all know once electronics meet water, we're done. The sensor's done. These leak sensors are waterproof to IP66 standards. During testing, high-powered jets are shooting water at the sensor at a rate of 100 liters a minute for three minutes. That's just over 26 gallons a minute. This is going to be a more epic test because let's see where the water lands with my expert placement here. <laughs> I'm speeding this up and dropping the volume. Also note, I'm wearing a headset, so the audible alert is actually louder in person. This holds a lot of water on top. Is it gonna go off the side first? Or is it gonna go into the speaker area? Oh, it's full. Oh, that's blissfully a little more quiet. But maybe it's something to be aware of. It's not gonna be quite as loud. <laughs> this is totally covered. It's not going off yet. That's crazy. You just gotta see this. We're at the 20 minute mark. I'm calling this test done. Hmm. The mute button isn't working. Hmm. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Let me dry the rest of this off. No, it is just mad. This one is not having it. Well, that's unfortunate. Once you have a leak, these sensors are gonna keep going. <laughs> All right. Maybe. Nope. Obviously, something is really upset. Looks like I'll be going through the batteries today. Nope. Wow. All right, next sensor. <laughs> Put this somewhere else. <laughs> I'm gonna go shove that under a couch cushion. One thing I observed as I was sitting here for that 20 minutes watching the sensor was that the sensor belongs flat along the ground. That is where the sensors are on the bottom. And then of course, when water drips down from above, you want it to hit the sensor on top. My concern is if I put the sensor like this down, let's say in this cup that I was planning on doing next, is that really a good test? Truthfully, the sensor is always gonna be down. Second one, now let's try this 
Top Gear style. If you haven't seen the BBC at Top Gear where they are trying to kill the Toyota Hilux, you've got to check that out. I don't have an ocean, so this will have to do. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect it was going to flow. Oh, that's, well, there goes that theory. All right. It's been like an hour. We have clearly not been working in the house at all. I'm calling this one done. And this thing's pretty, pretty impressive. So we clearly do not need to worry about this little button being the point of entry for water because the thing, thing floats. <laughs> but the concern might be on the speaker. But after an hour, I mean, if it's not going to do that, this thing's fine. But also, the other thing, too, is the uh, electronics underneath the seal. The seal right here is not a problem, and neither is everything around the battery, either. And it shut off? No way. No way. And the other one's still going off on the couch right now. How about that? Well. Sweet. <laughs> uh, probably shouldn't have tried that. How about that? I didn't even push the button or anything. Yeah. Oh. Too much to hope for. All right, let's see. Oh, I like this one. We could be friends. Just for the heck of it, let's see what the third one does. All right, good to know. Didn't even push the button. That first one, oh. <laughs> the cloth is wet. All right, two out of three. Believe the hype, that IP66 rating, this is legit. But does it turn off? <laughs> Hold on. A word of warning though, once it goes off, I'm, I gotta take the batteries out. <gasps> no more of that. So what do we learn here? All of the leak sensors sent push notifications to my phone and email, and the alarm kept going for the duration of all the tests. It's just not a good idea to put even an IP66 waterproof rated sensor directly under the source of a potential leak. After testing many of the major undersink mats, I discovered the best strategy on where to place a leak sensor. We'll put that right here, along with a follow on long term review where I actually share my thoughts on what I think about these devices. And I'll put it right here when that comes out. See you there.